What's going on, YouTube? You're back with Shades, and we're going to con con continue our Let's Play of Pokemon Academy Life. Last time we left off, we were watching Exhibition Match, and we're on the last round, so let's go, shall we? Not likely. That Venomoth is simply too strong for that victory belt. Is it that simple? That whoever has the weaker Pokemon, no matter the circumstances, and no matter how much they try to fight back? And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have Venomoth and Victory Belt facing off in the third of what could be the final round of this Exhibition Match. Venomoth attacks with a powerful psychic attack, but Victory Bell is trying to recover with Synthesis. Can the challenger hang on? They're in perfect sync, and it's just because Janine trained her Venomoth well. Meanwhile, all, all her opponent can do is try to keep up. Lance talks about a Pokemon's strength like it's all like that's the be-all and end-all element in battle, but there's got to be more to it than that. There has to be. And Victory Bell is down. Another absolutely crushing victory for Janine. Is there anyone surprised at the result? Once again, Janine has proven why she is the captain of Kobukon's battle team. Wow. I mean, wow, what a game. Like, I know it wasn't even close, but we still got some cool stuff, right? Right, I w just wish the differences in their Pokemon were a little smaller. I, I wouldn't have minded watching a closer match. Are you feeling okay, Red? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm fine. It's probably from all the excitement right now. Uh, never mind, I'll tell you later. Hey, I think the next matches are starting now. We stayed to watch the rest of the exhibition matches, but Janine Jean still stood head and shoulders above the others. I couldn't stop replaying it in my head. The difference in power between two trainers and their Pokemon was staggering. I wonder if Pikachu and Charmander, and I could. Ugh, I can't think of that stuff like right now. I have more important things to worry about. But still. The eighth. <laughs> the eighth. Morning. <clears throat> Noon and night. And now it's straight back to the grind. If I remember right, the professor said we have a quiz today. Shouldn't be a problem. I hope. Hey, isn't that that guy that got chewed out yesterday by Lance? Yeah, I think it is. He was talking about being all buddy-buddy with his Pikachu or some crap. Is this Pikachu like crazy weak too? Like how did someone like him even get to the school? I bet just somebody got... Just, I bet it's just somebody, nobody that got here just because of his parents' money. And the way he talked back to Lance. What a jackass. Well, I guess what happened yesterday did happen in front of countless other students, so I can't say I'm too surprised. You guys, I... I'd say you two are the real jackasses here. Huh? Before I even had a chance to say anything, Whitney just jumped in herself. What did you say? So you two turds are deaf too, huh? I'm not too surprised considering anybody with normal hearing could, would gouge out their own ears after the way you douchebags talk. What, what's your problem? Her problem? What's your problem? You guys think you're cool and I think it's someone else's circumstances? Bad mouth like someone behind their backs. You guys are the lowest of the low. I really hate dealing with stuff like this so early in the morning, so you guys better beat it before I get angry. Get out of here. Go on, scram. Tch. Assholes. Oh, hi, Red. Ready for another exciting day of school? I, uh... What do I even say after seeing something like that? Good morning, Red. And good morning to you, Whitney. Flannery. Good morning, Leaf. Morning. You, do should, you should be getting to your seat too, Red. Class is starting soon. Yeah, I know. Hey Whitney, Flannery. Thanks for that. I'd like to say I prefer to fight my own battles, but I really appreciate it. You don't know what you're talking about- mm. She meant to say not a problem, Red. Sorry, she gets a little shy sometimes, especially when it comes to stuff like this. I do not! Flannery starts grumbling quietly to herself. Anyway, take it easy, Hotshot. Try not to let those insecure idiots get to you. You live how you want. I know I haven't spent much time with Whitney before, but I never expected her to be so... charismatic. Whitney, class is starting. Whitney, class is starting. Alright, talk to you later, Red. Let's do this quiz. I gotta say, those two renewed my faith in humanity. At least for a little bit. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, oh there, there it is. I'm just like, where's my quiz? <laughs> and that concludes the lesson for today. Finally, can't wait to get out of here. I enjoy Professor Oak's lectures as much as the next guy, but, I re but yesterday really tired me out. Everyone in the room starts to shuffle their seats. Looks like I'm not the only one who's ready to leave, either. Not so fast, I haven't dismissed you yet. I hope I haven't forgot- for I hope you haven't all forgotten about the quizzes every Monday and Thursday. Are you kidding- Whitney, you said those were Mondays and Fridays! Oops, did I really? Oh well, you know if you studied you wouldn't have anything to worry about. Ugh, you! Okay, class, clear your desk and take out your pencils. Remember, this was great and getting question wrong is twice the penalty of a blank answer. Don't try to reckless recklessly guess. I've been setting my ass up for the past few nights, so I should be fine, right? How many base stat categories do you Pokemon have? Uh. Oh shit.
Why? <laughs> oh no! Five. Time's up. Is that really the correct answer? Ah, oh, to second guess myself now. Time's up. Is that really the correct answer? Ah, oh, to oh god. Technical machine. It was six, not five. No! I'm gonna load back up. I'm gonna save scum the shit out of this. I don't care. I can't be anything less than perfect. Oh shit. I. Wow. I went all the way back to my fight with red, with blue. Well, if I'm gonna have to win this again, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, sorry about that, but like, literally, um, the game crashed as I was trying to skip through the text. So, I don't know what happened. Okay, fine. Let's already get to the. Let's already get to the frickin' quiz. Come on. Uh, six. Time's up. All right, that was an easy one. Next question. Uh, technical machine. First question is six. Yeah. We stats as a way to measure Pokemon's physical and mental conditions. However, when the Pokemon League was first established, Pokemon stats were classified a little differently. It was widely believed that Pokemon only had five base stats. HP, Attack, Defense, Speed, and Special. Some years later, researchers in the Johto region discovered that the Special stat was actually two separate stats. Technical Machine. Yeah. Technical Machines are small devices that resemble compact discs. We could use them to teach Pokemon new moves, which led to the greatly expanding the versatility of Pokemon even outside the competitive battling. These handled discs were once extremely hard to acquire, but now are found in nearly every department across the world. Truly fascinating. Looks at all the studying paid off. I thought the quizzes were going to be tough, but they aren't so bad. That's it for today, class. Now you're all dismissed. Finally, about ready to drop. Ready to be speak to you about a few things. It's nothing urgent, so please come to my office in the research center, whatever it's most convenient for you. Uh, sure thing, Professor. Not even a week and you're already in trouble. What'd you do this time? Oh, shove off. I'm sure it's nothing. But I wonder what's so important they to talk to me privately. I hope it's not about the whole Pikachu fiasco on the first day. Anyway, he said the research center, right? It sounds like an interesting place to kill some time. You know, Leaf's always been inviting me to go out since school started. She can get a little overexcited sometimes, but I do appreciate her going out of her way to show me around. I don't think it'd be a bad idea to return their favor every once in a while. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'd be rude not to. Besides, she is pretty fun to be around. What's the harm in asking? Hey. Red, hi. What's up? I was going to drop by the research center and take a look around before some er doing some errands. Nothing important, just checking the place out and stuff. And uh, I don't know if you're busy or want to... Uh, which is basically what's happening on screen. <laughs> that went a lot smoother in my head. I mean, I can't remember the last time I invited a girl out to go anywhere with me. It's nerve-wracking. Oh, I'd love to go. Did you know I used to be super into science and stuff when I was a kid? Mostly marine biology, but I bet the other ologies are just as cool. Great, so when do you want to... But, just not today. May asked me to study with her after she got both quiz questions wrong. I'm really sorry. Oh, that's okay. I figured you would be busy. But thanks for the offer. I'll come along next time, I promise. Yeah! By the way, why are our so Why- Oh, never mind. Why? What? Why can't I scroll? That's weird. Why can't you scroll? Yeah, you are broken, my friend. Alright, I'll hold you to that. Yep, which means you'll probably need this. Yeah! Aren't you a lucky guy? See you later, Red. Yeah, yeah. I got her number. Mmm. Which is the highlight of the entire playthrough. <laughs> See, aren't you a lucky guy? See you later, Red. Huh, she probably didn't invite me out in the first place because she had things to do. Well, I can't say I didn't try. Anyway, I should get going. Shut up, Blue. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Science Center. Check this place out. It's like Professor Oak's lab back home, except ten times bigger and cleaner. Makes me wonder why Professor Oak could never, could ever would even bother coming back to Pallet Town. There aren't that many students here. The only people I see are upperclassmen and faculty members. This place looks really neat. Might as well check out the rest of it before paying a Professor Oak a visit. Red, is that you? The one and only. I didn't expect to see you here.
<clears throat> Me too. Well, I mean, I didn't expect to see you here. I'm always here on Tuesdays and Thursdays to help Clement around the lab. Oh, who's Clement? He's a friend from Kalos. He's real smart. Anyway, what made you want to visit the research center all of a sudden? Me? Well, Professor Oak asked me to come here, but I'm not sure why yet. Oh, neat. I'm here today because the research center brought in a magnemite and Voltorb, and we're going to see how much energy they can store in a light bulb. Oh, but we're not going to use them for slave labor or anything. Gosh, no, that'd be awful. She just never stops. You can think of it as some kind of conditioning or workout routine for Pokemon like Magnemite or Voltorb. And I heard somewhere that since they technically don't have any muscle fibers or whatever, using up their electricity builds up their natural affinity to their... Are you bothering another guest, Shauna? <sighs> this is why new students are all afraid of coming here. Huh. What? Don't, I don't scare you, do I, Red? Nah, I've seen far scarier things than you. So you're Clement. That's me, and I see you and Shauna know each other already. Yeah, Shauna's a friend of mine. We met really early in the semester, and we hung out a few times before this. Fascinating. Anyway, Red, let me formally welcome you to the research center. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of usual fun things to do around here, but if you're looking to advance your studies or even to find something to do when you have downtime, there's no better place than this. Yeah, Clement's a super genius. His inventions are so cool that the school pays him to use them. <clears throat> Isn't that amazing? What, Shauna? Come on, you're embarrassing me. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, he's only one year older than us. Just imagine what he'll do when he's an adult. His inventions are going to change the world someday. Jeez, you're starting to sound like a lot like my parents. I've never heard any of a place paying a student to use their equipment. He must be seriously smart. What's someone like Shauna doing hanging out with a kid genius? I think Shauna's dumb. She ain't dumb. She is the best. <laughs> I bet you're thinking something like, why is Sean in the research center with someone like him? Uh, well, I'll tell you. We met each other back in Lumio City. Sean and her family happened to be visiting and we hit it off. Even when he was real little, he was already inventing new machines, even though they only worked half the time. Ahem. <laughs> anyway, Sean turned out to be a great help with my work. She may not look like it, but her quick thinking has saved me a few, quite a few headaches. Hey, what do you mean by... She's been something like an assistant to me ever since. I honestly don't know what I'd do without her. Oh, that's cute. In fact, the fact that Clement and Sh Shauna are so compatible despite their differences in personalities is nothing short of amazing. I wonder if Dick Button and I could have ended up like these two if we tried a little harder. No. Oh, that reminds me. Do either of you know which way the, it is to Professor Oak's office? I'm supposed to meet him here. Professor Oak? He's straight down the hallway to the left, but he's almost always wandering around, so you can't miss him. Great, thanks. I'll catch you guys later. It was nice meeting you, Red. Bye-bye. Ah, Red, good, you're here. Hey, Professor, you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes, I do. It's about your place in this academy. Oh, no, this is looking like... This is starting to look like one of those lectures that Mom used to give me all the time. Now, don't worry, you're not in trouble or anything. I just think it'd be a good idea to have a little chat before things get rolling. Specifically about why you're here in the first place. I'm sure you must have been surprised when you found that you were accepted here. Well, yeah, kinda. Considering I didn't even have to say, have a say in it. And I'm sure you're wondering why I specifically recommended you instead of Blue. Wait, what? You didn't recommend Dick Butt? Re re recommending me is one thing, but not recommending your own grandson? No, I didn't. For one, he was almost guaranteed to be accepted into the Academy anyway, with or without my help. Despite his attitude, he's very talented and performed exceptionally well in his studies. I guess he, all the bragging from Dick Butt had to have come from somewhere. Oops. He is Professor Oak's grandson, so it's not all surprising he's smart. So why me? I never even thought about going to a place like this, so I figured I was going to be a pal for the next three years. And that is exactly why I recommended you. Red, I believe you have the ability to become an amazing Pokemon trainer. Um, wow. You know, Mom told me you say that a lot, but this is the first time I'm hearing it myself. I asked for you so you have the chance to improve your natural abilities here in the Academy. You won't get this kind of education anywhere else in the world, especially not in Palatown. We both know that you can be a little unmotivated sometimes, so you just need a little push to realize your full potential. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, Professor, but that's just silly. Oh? No offense, but why would you think that? Dick Butt's been training and battling Pokemon for like a decade now. I haven't really done much anything these past years. How's a guy like me supposed to compare to people like him? I figured you might think something like that. Yes, it's true that Blue is a little more savvy in training Pokemon than you, but he is no more brilliant than the average student here, and certainly not you. You may not realize it, but I believe you have an innate talent for perceiving the emotions of Pokemon. Take a Pikachu, for instance. Pikachu? What's he got to do with this? Haven't you found yourself understanding what Pikachu is saying or feeling just by listening to his voice or watching his body language? Sure, but that's because we grew up together. We know everything about each other. No, no, Red. You have this instinctual bond with him that's almost never found on other trainers. You might take it for granted, but I've never seen anything like it. 
We humans can't directly communicate with Pokemon due to language, but somehow you can. This incredibly rare ability is what will set you apart from the rest of your peers. Ever since you, I gave you Pikachu, I saw something truly special in you. Something I haven't seen in a long time. A protagonist. <laughs> this is quite the bombshell he's dropping on me. Are you listening, Red? I don't get it. You're going to have to speak up, Red. I said I don't get it. There's definitely no way of, of I'm some kind of Pokemon whisperer. Doesn't that stuff involve spiritual baloney or something? Haha, <laughs> deny it all you want, but it's the truth. I feel like this is kind of cheating. I don't want an unfair advantage over everyone else. I look like a total jackass. I think I have more important things to worry about, like passing your classes, for example. Right, I, I keep forgetting that you're still part of the staff here. That's easier said than done. Didn't you say half your class failed last year? Ha, <laughs> yes, I <laughs> yes, I suppose they did, but I trust you're different, Red. Once you've advanced in your studies and work hard, you'll see just that you're just that you know more than you think. You just have to see through this to the end. I'll do my best. All I can ask for is for you to try. Oh, I must get going. Thank you for coming in, Red. This was a good talk. Tell your mother I said hello. And one more thing before I go. Do try to keep an eye on Dickbutt for me. He seems to have a natural talent for getting into trouble with the wrong crowd. Black, like I'd be able to do anything to stop him. Oh shit, I was not paying it. I, did, I stopped my timer and I didn't restart it. Shit. Whatever, it's, it's fine. I was paying it to the time anyway. I also don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone we have this, about this little talk. If the rest of the staff finds out I've been playing favorites with my students, I'll be in big trouble. My lips are sealed. Good. Now I have other duties to attend to. I suggest you turn in early tonight. This is a new school for you and must be exhausted after all the orientation and new classes. I don't want you falling asleep in my class like you almost did today. Crap, you saw that? Thanks, I think I'll do just that. Very good. I'll see you tomorrow, Red. Is what Professor Oak, is what Professor Oak said really true? Am I really the diff that different from everyone else? It almost seems like a dream. Well, there's only one way to test this out. Evening. Damn, Caleb isn't back yet. I was hoping to talk to him about my condition. I did not mean to open the menu. Hey there, buddy. Did you miss me? Yeah, sorry, but you'll have to get used to it. I gotta keep this up for three years, remember? Chuh. Oh, come on, lighten up. Once my schoolwork starts clearing up, you won't even notice that I'm gone. I'll just be, it'll just be like middle school. I'm saying that the, but if Professor Oak really meant what he said, I need to start reevaluating myself as a Pokemon trainer. And myself as a person. Just give me a second to sit down. It's been a long day. I feel like I just sink right through this bed right now. Ugh, <sighs> oh, what the hell. I can't sit all after all of that. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing, Pikachu. I'm just thinking about some stuff. Hmm. Say, Pikachu, you haven't spent much time with Charmander, right? Would you like to? Yeah. Alright, come on out, Charmander. Now that I think of it, this is the first Pokemon I've kept in a Pokeball. I'm no expert on these things, but I wonder if they're comfortable in there. In any case, he sure looks happy to get out of that ball for some fresh air. <laughs> Riveting dialogue. At least Pikachu looks happy to have another Pokemon to hang out with. That's a relief. I was worried that Pikachu would have trouble meeting new Pokemon, or that he'd get jealous over being replaced or something. I wonder what Mom would think of this scene. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. She probably think they're just babbling, but I can tell they're definitely talking to each other. Come to think of it, Mom could never understand what Pikachu was saying. She'd throw wild guesses on whether Pikachu sounded happy, sad, or angry at the time. But something she gets it right more often than but more often than not. Maybe Professor Oak is onto something. Hmm, what's up, Charmander? You hungry or something? I heard that Pokemon don't grow hungry while on their balls. Yikes! What's the, when's the last time he ate? Oh, I stole the candy bar from that weird girl I met when I first landed here. She said it's Pokemon safe, so it wouldn't hurt, right? Here you go, pal. He tossed the Rage candy bar in front of Charmander. Pikachu and Charmander start wrestling over the candy bar. This isn't the most con conventional training, sure, but at least they look like they're having a lot of fun. I've never seen Pikachu play with any of Mom's Pokemon back home. Looking back, Pikachu never complained about being left home alone at home. Wow, okay. Home alone all the time. I was always worried that he would get lonely without me, but it looks like everything turned out okay. I'm definitely not the most experienced trainer here, but as long as I keep my Pokemon happy, we should get by just fine. Oh crap, try out of your tail! Oh god, quick don't let it spread to anything flammable! Help! Fire! Fire! <laughs> Pikachu laughing in the face of death. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, that's enough excitement for today, you two. We were like our neighbors were close to the fire extinguishers. Aw, oh, poor babies. Not a word for this to Kayla, me here. I don't want rumors of start spreading about me. It's all fun and games till someone gets accused of arson. All right, it's time to hit the hay, guys. I have my elect elective quizzes tomorrow, so I really need to catch some sleep. Come on back, Charmander. You too, Pikachu. Get some sleep. You can play with Charmander tomorrow, okay? Good night. Friday the 9th. Anyway, that's where I'm going to have to end this part for now. So, yeah. A lot of this is coming back to me, and it's really a lot of fun. I just can't wait to get to the really new content. But this is all a refresher for me, which I need, which I needed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me or from the series, hit the subscribe button. And you're not exiting the Shadyverse. My name is Shades, and I hope you've enjoyed your day in the Shades. See you guys next time. Bye.